Happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Jennifer Broom. Well, the Houston Ballet will kick off their 2017-2018 season next month. And joining us to tell, to tell us about their upcoming performances is Elizabeth Cleveland. Elizabeth, this season is going to be a super dynamic one yes. with it starting September 8th. Yes, that's right. We kick off September 8th, um, and we open with a program that is a mix of beloved classics, so you've got a great mix of classical ballet and some contemporary works in there as well. And um, we, we try to divide that out across our season. So we have a combination of story ballets that have different act, like act one, act two, act three, and then we also have what we call mixed rep programs that have a sampling of lots of different types of ballet. And I love that you guys do this because it makes the ballet really accessible yes. to a broad, broad audience. Let's go through some of these shows one sure. by one and we'll talk about them, sure. starting with Carousel. So yes. Um, um, our first our first program includes a ballet called Carousel, uh, a, a dance, and it's choreographed by Christopher Wielden, who was also the choreographer of An American in Paris, who he, uh, which he won a Tony for. And it's this wonderfully enchanting ballet with waltzes, and if you know the, the musical Carousel, you'd recognize the music in this. And we're seeing some of the video oh, yes. uh, right here behind you. Yep. So just classic lines. It's it's so toe shoes pretty. are so gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's just really the music is what is what gets people with this one. Um, and in addition to that, there's also another uh, contemporary piece by Stanton Welch, and then a classical piece uh, by George Balanchine called Symphony in C, which is lots of tutus and tiaras. What is your second show? I'm, I'm not familiar with this one. Uh, Meyerling. Meyerling, yes. Uh, Meyerling is a story ballet, so it's got uh, it's it's divided into to three acts, I believe, um, and it's by a choreographer named Sir Kenneth McMillan, and he is just legendary in the ballet world, and this is the North American premiere, which means Houston Ballet is the first North American. The first American. to have it. Yes. That would be why I'm not familiar with it at all. <laughs> Yeah, we're the first North American company to present this work, wow. and it is very dramatic, very, uh, it's, it's definitely adult themed, I would say it's, it's for adults, but it, it's, a, it's based on a historic event um, that happened basically the start of the, the fall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, it was based on a, a very significant event that happened, um, and Macmillan created a whole ballet out is of it. Is there extra pressure though, being the North American premiere of a ballet? Sure, I mean, I think that it's, it's mainly just exciting for us, you know, to, to be the first company to, to perform this, uh, the first North American company to perform it. Um, it's lavish, it's opulent, you know, in addition to the intensity of the, of the themes, the dancing is just world-class and very, very difficult, specifically for the lead male role in this show. Um, but it is everything that you'd love a full-length ballet to be. It has these, you know, big grand sets and costumes, and there are many, many characters that are on stage throughout the entire show. So it's oh. definitely not to be missed. Pretty exciting to, to be the first ones to have this show in yes. North America. Okay, we got to talk about the Nutcracker. Yes, of course, of course. Um, it's it's a holiday tradition. You know, we, we always uh, try to, to remind people, you know, to buy early, to make your holiday plans now. Um, this production is by Stanton Welch, our artistic director, and it made its world premiere last year. So this is our second year with a brand new Nutcracker. So these are new sets, new costumes, new choreography. These costumes are unbelievable. They are. And there are, just talk about, you know, multiple, there are so many costumes and characters on stage. And we really utilize um, the kids and the students from our academy in this production and it just it is just truly one of a kind and it is you know the best of the best as far as you know um, technology used in theater and on stage today um, there are, but it's still the same music and the same story that you love well, about didn't the didn't it take like a couple of years for some it of the did. costumes to be made yes so the process started almost three years ago now um, and it just it, it it really took a village to create this and it could not be more colorful and more bold and it is just, it could be seen over and over and over because there are so many things to see. And you can, it's hard to... Oh, the visuals are just Yes, amazing. you can, you can discover something new every single time you see it. And where, sure. when you say, so it took three years for the costumes to be made, these were sourced from various parts of the world? Yeah, they were created in, in various, various areas, um, but they were all designed and inspired by uh, Tim Goodchild, who's a British designer who worked with Stanton to create design. The Stanton sets, Welch, of course, yeah. the Stanton Welch, choreographer. Yes, uh, to create the costumes and the set. So they, it was a collaboration between them and then of course many, many, many artisans that created them all over the country okay, and all so over you, the world. So you guys will go from the Sugar Plum Fairy, the Nutcracker to Swan Lake, yes. uh, just one of the most iconic ballets there is. Also such choreographed by Stanton Welch, yes. right? Yes, such a classic. Um, Tchaikovsky is the music. It's also, he's, he also did the music for Nutcracker. You know, it's classical music that everyone will recognize. Um, it just doesn't get more classical than Swan Lake and dramatic and, you know, the, the role 
of, of, this, of the black swan and the white swan is just tremendous. And the stamina that it takes, um, was particularly with this ballet, you know, Stanton just has choreographed this beautifully. And, uh, you know, our dancer, this is probably one of my favorites. So do the dancers just like focus on the performance that they're doing? And then once that one's done, then they'll go on and work on the next one? You know, they actually have to, to split their focus a bit um, just because we perform year round. So we perform uh, September through June. And so they their schedule is, is structured so that they're always, they sort of what I call leapfrog, where they're working on one, but they're also working on a piece that could be months later, but they have to kind of start setting it and getting the choreography, you know, on their bodies and learning it way ahead of time. Um, so it's, it's very, very timeline based so that wow. they can be fully prepared for opening night. I don't know how they remember wow. all of those steps. Okay. Either. Just about a minute left. We got a lot more to get through. Uh, rock roll and tutus. <laughs> yes, another mixed, uh, another mixed program where there's a sampling of, of of different ballets. One of them is called Play, which is to the music of Moby, and that's what you see here. Um, it's basically cool. just it's based in an it's ballet based in an urban environment. Um, that's kind of the premise, and Stanton Welch choreographed that as well. And uh, it's just really fun and dynamic, and it's 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 sort of a reflection of walking through kind of the city life with with dance, you know, kind of mixed in with, with Just dance. very quickly, because sure. we're out of time, global movements and Don Quixote. Yes, uh, Don Quixote will be just an, an amazing family show to see. It's playful, it's fun, it's colorful, and it's just one of those things that families and kids will love. Oh, That's man, right. it's so, like such an exciting season. I love the is. mix of the classic with the contemporary. Yep. It's now, an, you guys have an open this house. This weekend is yep. the, sorry to jump in, the, the theater district open house is happening. Yes. If the hurricane doesn't wash Correct. us all away. Yeah, it's tentative right now. It's tentative right now. Um, but, you know, it's just, just for general information. It's a great event that happens every every August, right, in, right as the fall seasons kick off in the and theater there's district. the information right there on your screen, Sunday, of course, from 12 to 5. I think it's great. You can meet the characters in the lobby. And also, if you want to sign up for tickets there, you can save a bit of money by doing so, right? Yes, yes you may. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much for stopping by. Always really great to cool have you. Really scenes. appreciate it. And it again, a like quick reminder, season. if you guys would like to uh, secure your, your seats to any of the upcoming Houston Ballet shows, just visit HoustonBallet.org, or you can call 713-227-2787. Elizabeth, thanks again. Thank, thank you. you. And coming up next from catching performances to going backstage, reporter Stephanie Gonzalez takes us to the theater district right after the break.